Welcome to Cute Fast Track Series for API Recommended Practice 572 Inspection Practices for Pressure Vessels. In this lecture, we will continue discuss sub clauses 9.4 Internal Inspection. And we will discuss and highlight important information contained item 9.4.8 and 9.4.9. Inspection of non-metallic linings. There are various kinds of non-metallic linings. Glass, plastic, rubber, ceramics, concrete, refractory, and carbon block or brick linings. These materials are used most often for corrosion resistance. Some forms of refractory concrete are used as an internal insulation to keep down the shell temperatures of vessels operating at high temperatures. Refractory tile is also used for insulation. For the most part, inspection will consist of a visual examination for discontinuities in the coatings. Bulging, blistering, and chipping are all indications that openings exist in the lining. These breaks are sometimes called holidays. The spark tester, a high voltage, low current, brush type electrode method of inspection for leaks in the nonconductive lining, Paint, glass, plastic, and rubber linings is quite thorough. Concrete and refractory linings may spall and crack in service. The sound and feel of light hammer tapping will usually make such looseness evident. If the shell metal temperatures are near the calculated dew point of the process stream, Shell corrosion should be suspected and the shell should be checked. Glass lined vessels are especially susceptible to damage and they are costly and difficult to repair. Corrosion beneath linings and deposits. If external or internal coatings, refractory linings, and corrosion-resistant linings are in good condition, and there is no reason to suspect a deteriorated condition behind them, it is usually not necessary to remove them for inspection of the vessel. UT scanning examination from the external surface can be used on certain types of linings, such as explosion bonded clad or weld overlaid clad, to measure wall thickness and to detect separation, holes, and blisters. Thermography may also be useful in detecting refractory or lining damage. Where operating deposits, such as coke, are present on a vessel surface, it is particularly important to determine whether such deposits have active corrosion beneath them. Review questions. Question number one. What are the two primary purposes for refractory linings? Answer is B. Question number two. A break or void in a paint coating is called a Answer is C. Question number three. A common tool used to find breaks in a non-metallic lining is Answer is D Question number 4 
Spark testing is being performed on a coating. What happens if the voltage on the spark tester exceeds the dielectric strength of the coating? Answer is C. Question number 5. Which type of vessel is very susceptible to damage and very costly to repair? Assume all the following vessels are the same size. Answer is A. Question number 6. What is a common tool that is used to inspect refractory? Answer is B. Question number 7. When a refractory lining cracks, what is a common problem that can occur to the base metal? Answer is A. Question number 8. A vessel has an internal refractory lining. Which of the following is correct? Answer is D. Question number 9. What is a common way to check the base metal condition under a deteriorated lining? Answer is B. Question number 10. What tool is useful for finding deteriorated refractory lining while the vessel is in service? Answer is C. Question number 11. During the internal inspection a large vessel, the inspector finds that the bottom third of the vessel has a 4 inches layer of coke deposit. Which of the following is correct? Answer is A.